Hi everyone, welcome back. Captain Paul Clark here, and we've got another great episode for you this week. We have just arrived in Croatia and guests boarded momentarily. We're gonna spend the next couple of days cruising this area in the Adriatics. We're gonna go down to uh, Montenegro for the next couple of days, spend three, four days down there, and then we're gonna come back up, clear back into Dubrovnik and cruise north up through Croatia. This is a 13 day charter, so a bit of a longer one. So we're actually gonna break this video into two parts for you. So you're not stuck watching a big one hour long video but uh, we're super excited we love coming to Croatia we spent all last summer here but this is our first time back this year so uh, we're gonna show you why we love Croatia and some of the great uh, experiences and people that we get to meet while we're here so stick on around and uh, let's have another great video so we've ducked off the boat quickly to pick up some provisions uh, when I had provisions delivered a few days ago there are a few things missed a combination of both my my own personal error and perhaps the provisioner but um, I've asked our agent, our shore agent here in Croatia, to pick a few things up, so we're collecting them now. Guests have just finished lunch, so I'm free. I've decided to come along, meet our agent, say hi, and see all the good stuff that he's bought. Woo! Wowzers! Is this the yogurt? Yeah, yeah, we do maybe have a box of yours so I can put it in or... Um, we can probably put it on top of that box there. Please, yeah. We have, uh, we've got some barbecue for the, barbecue for the coal? Barbecue for the coal. Coal for the barbecue. Because <laughs> uh, I think this trip we're going to be doing a lot of barbecuing. I've got some olive oil, not extra virgin. The last place I could only get extra virgin. I like to cook with olive oil when it's hot and only dress my salads with extra virgin. I'm sure I'm talking about this way too much. Some wine for the girls, some panko breadcrumbs, and some Greek yogurt, which we need to get back ASAP into the fridge. <laughs> so we've just noticed a bit of a weather change. Uh, as you can see behind me, there's some really dark clouds, lots of thunder and lightning. In a minute, you might hear a couple of grumbles. The wind has just swung about 180 degrees. It's gone from zero to about 20 odd knots, uh, coming in hot and heavy. And so we've just sort of all hands on deck right now. I got up the boys that were down on their brakes. We've just lifted in the jet skis and all the tenders. The boys are in the back of the boat now putting away the pool and the slide. Uh, in the Adriatic here, they call it the Bora or Bula. And um, it's a catabatic wind that rolls down off of the mountains and can hit you with 45, 50, even 100 mile an hour winds like that. So you've always got to be on your game, especially in the later months of the summer here so uh, we're just getting prepared in case this thing does turn into something a little heavier we've got all the toys on board the pools away we've put a bit more chain out and we and engines are on standby so if this thing really does fire up we're ready to ride it out Thanks for joining. We are cruising. We've, uh, the guests just finished dinner. Uh, some of them are going up to the jacuzzi. Some are actually watching a movie down the cinema. And um, we're making our way around to clear out of Croatia and make our way to Montenegro. But in order to do that, we have to go into Dubrovnik, into port. Um, en route, we'll pick up a pilot. Um, the pilot will come on board, then take us into port. We'll go to a clearance dock where we'll touch the dock pass of our passports, give all the documentation needed. Um, it'll take about 40 minutes to an hour. Then our agent will assist us clearing out and then we'll um, cruise back around through to Montenegro. It's gonna be a long night. Um, I think we'll be getting back into bed at about 3 a.m., 3, 4 a.m. Uh, tomorrow morning. But uh, we'll get some good rest. We've had some good rest before. And um, yeah, now all us officers are waking up and um, we'll get a good rest afterwards again. So cool, stay tuned. We have to say, boys. Oh, wet shoes, hot day. Just a little hike here in Montenegro. Nothing serious. 
20 waters in my backpack. <laughs> Gotta give those waters out to the guests, make it lighter. There we go. <laughs> Stocked and loaded. So it is day two of our charter. We are currently in Montenegro, a place called Kator. Um, yeah, absolutely gorgeous. You would have seen the drone shots already this morning. It's unbelievable here. Just glassy, glassy water. And um, we're currently with the guests out doing a little hike. And um, yeah, just showing them around the town. I've never been here before, Maddie. have you? Never, man. Yeah, so. And it's... we're the tour guides. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, it's it's really cool that we just get to, to go out to the guests all over the world and just take them around town and show them all these new places that most of the time we haven't seen, but we do our research and just make sure we know where we're going. <laughs> but yeah, we'll have a look around. Okay, but hot and sweaty here. We are. Hot and steep. <laughs> okay, so um, we made it up here. Beautiful hike, oh my goodness. Quite incredible, the guests loved it. But it's super hot. I stayed halfway with one of the guests and Maddie went all the way to the top. Um, but yeah, it's, it's just been incredible. They've loved it so far. So I'm going to head down and then take them to their lunch reservation. Okay, so it's day three of our charter. The guests had an awesome day yesterday, took them for a hike. They came back on board, had lunch, and then sent them out for dinner. And they had really good things to say about the, um, the restaurant that we sent them to. So it's always nice to have them come back and have good recommendations. Um, I won't say the name of it because I will butcher it completely, but I'll put it up on the screen somewhere. Uh, but then, yeah, we just sailed up to the other side of the Bay of Couture. We're still here currently. We woke up this morning to glassy, glassy conditions. I'll put some shots up now. Guests are loving it. So we're obviously all stoked. They are off the boat currently. So I'm gonna try and film some Instagram reels, try and get as much done as possible while they're off the boat, just to keep the social media ticking over. But yeah, I'll take you guys with and we can go film that. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna brief the boys on what we're doing now, just to get the reels running as smoothly as possible while the guests are ashore. Uh, so basically reel number one is going to be everyone we start probably on main deck aft and we're going to have the FPV drone and then someone's going to be wearing the GoPro chest mount. So everyone just chilling, standing together and then I'm going to give a radio call and say run. And you boys are all going to go down port side main deck and start pulling on each other's shirts like rushing, just going as fast as possible to be the first one off the bow. So make sure that you stay together like bunch up and just be like hustling and bustling and shouldering each other, pulling each other's shirts, like don't trip and fall. But um, yeah, not my future guys are all going yeah. Down, eh? so <laughs> yeah, not too, can we just like yeah. plan this out so it's not too competitive? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That one was, like, was okay, I just, it was my fault. I tapped the side of the stairs coming up, I tapped the railing. I wanted it to be absolutely perfect and smooth. So we're gonna do it one more time. And this one hopefully is the one. But the last one, no, it's okay. The last one is usable, so we'll see, we'll see. But I'll, I'll, I'll have to get this one now because guests are coming back soon and we still have two more reels to film. That 
was it. That was definitely the one. We got it. Oh my gosh. I was so close to Tyler's hand. Oh my word. That was almost another drone gone. But we definitely got it. Okay, so it's time for shot number two, uh, reel number two. I'm just getting a whole bunch of deck equipment out for this one. This should be quite funny. Um, but yeah, as I explained earlier, the deck boys are going to throw this out of shot and then we even play it in reverse so it all just shoots back at them. I also think that there could be dolphins on the bow right now. Um, I just saw some coming past the boat, which is pretty incredible, uh, seeing that we're in this massive glassy bay, so that could be quite cool. So I've got this nice little hand towel over the camera <laughs> because it is super hot and these Sonys do tend to overheat so I'm just not letting that happen at all but um, we're looking good. Can you boys tuck up a bit and get a bit closer in? Tristy a little bit closer? Okay one two three action throw normal Okay, so this is our final reel. Um, we're about to shoot a shot with Bjorn diving backwards with a whole bunch of scuba pro gear on. The guests are on their way back, so we're gonna have to do this as quickly as possible. I can literally see the tender. Um, but yeah, this is something we're doing for scuba pro. They supply all of our diving gear on board. We really like their gear. It's some of the best out there. So we do this to just promote their products because we back it. So yeah, why not? I am rolling. Okay, is everyone ready? Yeah. Okay, throw, jump. Oh, I think that was it. That I think that, that was it. That I think that, that was it. Nice, nice. All right, good evening. It's been a great day. We just picked up anchor. The pilots come on board and we're now just sailing out of the Bay of Couture, staying about six knots, doing a nice sunset cruise. But more importantly, the Anvera has just shown up. We are so excited about this. We haven't been on it yet. It showed up as we were already moving, so she's just behind us. But, uh, you know, as soon as we drop anchor in about another 20 minutes or so, she'll raft up alongside and we'll finally get to get on her for the first time. So excited. I'm super pumped. I really can't wait. You know, we've been building this boat for the better part of four months now and she's finally here so if you had seen our video about a month ago where we went to the shipyard myself Davey and Blair and uh, you know she really looked like she had a long way to go but she's here she's finished she is looking spectacular we're so excited and uh, yeah it's, the Sun is dropping so hopefully we can get some footage this evening of her if not we'll give you guys a full walk through tomorrow morning so it's been a great day guys Okay, good morning everyone. It is day four of our charter. Uh, it has been a super busy morning so far. There's a lot going on today. So I'll try and film as much as possible, but no promises. Um, yeah, there's lots of guest movements, lots of things happening. Uh, we are gonna clear out to Dubrovnik this evening, I think. But uh, yeah, we're gonna do a handover for the chase boat that arrived last night quite soon. I think the Anvera guys are arriving shortly. We'll do the handover and then get the day underway. So yeah, we'll see what we get up to. So that was pretty much it for today. We didn't get much opportunity to film, but enjoy this footage of Trist and Franco jumping off the submarine tunnel. Okay, one, two, three. Yeah! Bang! <laughs> Yeah, we're just clearing into Croatia again. Just came from Montenegro, so clearing into Croatia for the night. 
Uh, we're gonna come on to the dock clearing and then we'll probably head out later this evening and we'll have Bjorn and Franku up in the bridge um, and then we'll arrive where we're arriving to do you know no idea man no clue okay we well, don't know yet but we'll find out but yeah just here for the night or for one or two hours and then clear out again Okay, so welcome back. It's uh, a little after 10.30 p.m. We're in Dubrovnik. We've just uh, cleared customs. We're on the customs dock right now. So we've cleared back into the EU from Montenegro. And now we're just cruising about uh, 10 miles down the coast to just find somewhere nice for the evening. Um, been a good day. We uh, sat in Tavat for a couple of hours. Guests went to Nikki Beach for lunch, which is always a, which is always a nice one. And then, um, and then, yeah, we did a three-hour cruise from uh, Montenegro up to Dubrovnik, where we are now. So back in the EU, back in Croatia, and uh, got a good day ahead of us tomorrow off of uh, Ston. Good morning. Welcome to uh, Ston. We are just outside of Dubrovnik, a little bit further north, uh, pulling into one of our favorite anchorages here in Croatia. Uh, kind of a secret spot, so Blair, don't give, away, give it away too much. But uh, we just uh, dropped our two anchors. We're doing the famous Stern 2 ties that Croatia is famous for. Uh, super cool. Uh, guests always love it. We're nice and close to the rocks in a nice calm bay right out the back. We put the pool out, the slide out, everything, and we have our own little private you know, uh, enclave, uh, cove behind us, which is, a, uh, which is always a great treat for everyone. And um, so we're going to be here today. I'm going to have breakfast. You can, uh, you still have a decent amount of five meters of stern of you there, Paul. Five meters of stern, copy. <clears throat> we have a uh, guest are just going to have breakfast. It's uh, almost 9, 9 a.m. And then uh, after breakfast, we'll hang out here for a little while. There's a great hike on the wall of Ston in, over here. So uh, we'll take the guests over and, and do a bit of hiking, a bit of adventures, and, uh, and that should be the day. So um, no, super excited to be here. But more importantly, look who's over there. Captain Jay, I know you were coming for the spot, so we had to get in here quick. <laughs> <laughs> we, we know what you guys were doing. <laughs> Good thing is he's not gonna see this for about three weeks. <laughs> show you my my day how it starts so I have to take care of the plants so I have here a bottle of water and I need to be sure that every single plant is in water so I go through the through the boat here is the plant I give some water and then I go then I check the sunscreens that they have uh, the white and they have some towel, which here is not towel, so then I need to come back and put the right towel. So I'm going to continue with my work, then I'm going to just go into all the boat. And as well, I need to always listen my radio, because if some of the room is going to get available, I need to go there and check and uh, turn up for the day. 
and also I need to be aware like someone might uh, need to have a massage so then I need to go to my massage room. So this is uh, my day about. I wish you a nice day too. I think uh, my day is gonna be better than yours because look at it. <laughs> yeah. There we go. One, two, six. Oh. This is one of the benefits of having another loon just right in the anchorage next to us is that we get to trade things that we have for the things that we don't. We're gonna go trade them some mint for some pina colada mix. <laughs> The next morning, when we were preparing to leave, we saw Loon 180 had fouled an anchor over their anchor. Really, really old looking anchor. It must have been down there for at least 50 years or so. It was quite cool to, to see. But they had their own charter guests on and they were heading to Dubrovnik to drop them off where we were going to meet up and pick up our next charter guests. But they got that off within half an hour and they were on their way. Right, look who just shown up. We've got Loon 180 right here behind us. So excited to have the two boats together for the first time since Marseille back in May. This is actually really exciting because we're doing a tandem charter for the next eight days, cruising up to splits and then coming all the way back down here to Dubrovnik. This is the first for the Loon program, having both boats together and an on charter together. So we have one client, 24 guests between the two boats. It's gonna be so cool to finally have these guys, you know, maybe even have a little sneaky beer with the crew this evening before the guests arrive tomorrow at noon. So excited, it's gonna be a really cool week ahead.